Look at this. Oh my God. Guys, for tea tonight, we're having an island grill. I'm so hungry and I can't wait to try it. I think this is the platter we're gonna go for. This is what it looks like inside. So there's all the salad, there's all the skewers, and then they grill it on that thing over there. <laughs> Leah's just collected the goods. Oh my word, look at the sides on it. Guys, the food is out and it looks insane. We've got cheese in naan, tzatziki, hummus, salad. This is Leah's tray, it's chicken. <laughs> That's just for her? That is her tray? You, do guys, you, you guys do realize that this is like enough food for like four people, right? I mean, good on you guys. Go ahead, eat whatever you want. Can we just acknowledge that this is a little bit too much food or no? This is just fine. It's completely okay to be eating this amount of food. I mean, these people are apparently on a diet. So I guess maybe they think they deserve it. But I see oftentimes when people go on diets that they'll have like cheat days or sometimes the, the cheat meals will turn into cheat days or sometimes those days will turn into multiple days. So like, you know, one day, two days, five days, a week, who knows? Because uh, the amount of food that they're eating on these one sittings is actually insane. It almost kind of seems like they're deteriorating days worth of uh a good quality eating like i see these people literally going from like one or two days eating good 2000 2500 calories up to 5000 calories in one single sitting so it's it's tough and they always seem to have this one excuse i see quite a bit with Corey's world which is like oh my god guys i've done it again i got a hangover again and so in order to remedy it i've got to eat tons of fast food wings with rice and then we got three naan bread here I went Can you imagine like going in? By the way, this looks like cat puke. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever had a cat that has cat balls or whatever, and like they just start randomly like huh, 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 bleh. that's what it looks like. It doesn't look very good at advertising at all. But can you imagine going into that establishment and having those like Middle Eastern guys going like, huh, so uh where's the family? What's the family occasion? Like, what are we celebrating? And you're just going, What are you what are you talking about? A uh, family occasion? No, we're just hungry. Like, oh, yay, you're just hungry, but, like, how many people, like, what are these, some people in the car or something like that? What are you talking about? Like, no, no, it's just me and my girlfriend. Like, we're just going to eat this together as, like, a couple. It's like, or, you know, we just do this, like, all the time and stuff like that. That person's like, oh, my God, just you and your girlfriend? Yes, dude, it's just me and my girlfriend. Uh, by the way, three nan breads and that stuff that looks like cat puke. Throw that shit on there, too. The kofta's mix. So there's two lamb, one chicken kofta, rice, and more salad. And obviously all these sauces. And by the way, those sauces are very, very high in calorie. I feel like people, a lot of people don't realize how many calories each one of those sauces are. I wouldn't be surprised if each one of those was at least 300 calories or more, given that they are very, very high in calorie. But it honestly doesn't even matter. I never really gave a fuck if you're going to have like a cheat day or something like that. A lot of these people will sit there and go, guys, I'm doing so much better because I'm not drinking a regular soda. I'm drinking a diet. And I'm always thinking like, you might as well just go for the regular one at that point. I mean, it really doesn't matter you're literally body slamming like a good 4,000 calories here you might as well just introduce like an extra what 600 or like an extra like 200 300 calories for the soda it doesn't matter dude really it really doesn't matter horses i'm gonna try this cheese and nan food oh yeah the cheese and nan too of course i don't know is it non or nan first cheers guys you don't have to say cheers Mm. It, are you supposed to say cheers after you eat something? I've never seen that before. I know in the UK, it's probably really prominent. I've seen a lot of people in the UK say that. Cheers, cheers. After, before every bite though? Why do we have to do that on before every single bite? You know, the more I look at Corey, the more I think he looks older than he actually is. But, you know, as long as he's happy, as long as he's enjoying his life, that's all that matters, right? No, it's not, no, it's not true. I can't say that. Because, like, you could say that about a murderer. It's like, as long as a murderer is enjoying his life and his, like, his life is just murdering other people. We don't want to contribute to that to a particular type of lifestyle. So, no, there is a way of living your life that would be more optimal for Corey's world. But, you know what, dude? If, if this is what he wants to do, I'm all about freedom of expression, freedom of choice. Go ahead, man. I'm going to try a wing. You need to try that. It's just, like, the McLovin poster in the back or, like, the tapestry. The tapestry. The first time I've ever heard that word tapestry was when I was watching, I think it was the third Indiana Jones movie. Was it that one with Sean Connery? And there was like a part, was it? Yeah, it was the third one. He was like, went, he went into like the manor and the guy was like, what are you doing here? He's like, what did you think I was going to come in and look at the great tapestries? And I was like, what is a tapestry? And I Googled it. I was like, oh, it's just like a big like cloth painting basically and i was like who collects tapestries that's so weird but then you see like so many people nowadays you go into their houses and you go into their rooms and i think they're so cool because they have like you just go on amazon and type in tapestry 
and you'll just buy like the first five you just hang them up all across your walls like the people have the neon strips across their like the corners of their rooms or whatever and i don't think you're cool by the way if you have like neon lights i don't think that like i used to think i was weird for not having it so i caved and i bought a whole bunch of neon lights because i thought it was gonna be cool or whatever because i was like oh i'm getting with the times or whatever and i plugged it in and it was a spark and i was like i'm never i'm returning this right away because i got really 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 super scared about that so i just never bought them ever again so now i subtly judge people that have them so so if i see somebody with like neon lights i'm always going like you are a plebeian you're a pleb you're you're just like everybody else but i was about to be one of you but nobody will ever know that because <laughs> how are you gonna know i'm just judging you subconsciously by the way somebody said i sound mean the other day they you're like, you're really hostile, David. Am I mean? I don't think I'm that mean, though. I mean, I guess I could be, like, a little hostile in conversations or whatever. But I'm just being playful. Mm. Is it really that good? It doesn't look... It doesn't look as good as I feel like it. It looks wet. It looks like if I grabbed it, there would be, like, a like texture on my fingers. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I would have to wash my hands three times. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's really minty. Mm, minty off your standards. Minty off Oh, no. I dropped my toothpaste in your food before I cooked it. Oh, well, they won't notice. They'll probably just think it's a random, like, inclusion to the food or something. Cheesy. Well, I'm going to try the lamb. D dude, am I wrong, dude? This, this real deal looks like some deep-fried BBC or like cat cat puke it looks like cat puke like you know they i don't know why cats do it like that they like puke in a line and then just like sitting there like bro come on dude sometimes sometimes my cat would just randomly do it like in front of my door like he would know you know what i'm talking about off the first with the tzatzaki ah shit it's boiling with the tzatzaki sauce let's give it a taste test uh, oh that did not sound like it should sound, it, that did not sound like I thought it would sound. It, it, that did, that did, it sounded a little fibery, right? It sounded like it was like, like fibristic a little bit. Mm. Damn, you kind of bodied that. Yo, why, yo, why you get so goddamn close, bro? Jesus Christ, what was that zoom in, man? Yo, back up, bro, back up, man. Mm. What the fuck are we doing? What is that? Like, what are you just like, zooming in so we can hear you chew? I don't want to hear you chew. That is the least important part of a mukbang, okay? I know there are a lot of people out there that really like watching mukbangs and they really like watching people eat food. I don't know how so many people can get through the mouth noises, the... I don't know how you guys can do it. I personally have no enjoyment from it at all. I don't even like being around people that eat like that, dude. If I'm around you and you don't, you close your mouth, please, God, close your mouth. I have a Middle Eastern friend that when he eats, it's like a camel eating with no teeth, dude. All the time, it's just every single time, dude. And I'm always disappointed in him. I always call him out, bro, close your mouth. Oh, my bad, dog. My bad. Hold up. I got you, bro. And then he closes it. But then, like, five minutes later, because he never... It's never been enforced, right? He's done. It's done for the rest of his life. Because when he grew up, he wasn't instilled with the value of chewing with your mouth closed, right? And now that he's a grown man, it's done. Like, he's never going to learn, right? He's too old for that. He can't teach an old dog new tricks, especially not that. And it's not that big of a deal, I guess. It's not like a deal breaker. Like, if I was gay and I was dating him, it wouldn't be like the be-all, end-all in terms of the things I had to change about him. It would probably be other things like, I don't know, abuse or like other things like that. If he was, you know, beating me, I guess. That would be more important, I suppose. Or like, I don't know, if he was uncircumcised, I guess I would probably have that be an option too. Like, I'm not trying to... Mm, I don't know, dude. I don't know how I feel about it. I know that a lot of dudes that have foreskin have to clean really, really hard, but I really don't clean that much. I just kind of give it a good scrub. I don't know what we're talking about. That's so juicy and succulent. I've that is a crazy thing to say about that, bro. You put a phallus-shaped food in your mouth, and you said that shit was succulent? Not the words I would use, bro. What about voluptuous? What about big? What about meaty in your mouth? I would use those words, maybe. That's so juicy and succulent. Why are you closing your mouth? Like, dude, you do... I just... I'm sorry, dude. The etiquette of these people is just so forbidden for me. You take a bite of the cat hairball. And then after you take a bite of the cat hairball, you then zoom in right away so we can hear the mouth noises and see you chewing up close. And then you back the camera up and then go like, Oh my God, it's so good. I can't believe it. Why does it matter? I'm getting everything at that point. Like, what do you talk? Why are you here? You know what I'm saying, dude? That's like me watching a murder. And right at the end, the guy goes, oh, we can't show this anymore. Even though we literally just showed you everything here. I don't, I, I've already seen everything, bro. Like, what are you talking? It's like a girl. When you go outside, 
You ever go outside? Like, I remember during summertime, right? Uh, I'm sorry, not during summertime. During uh, October, and it was, like, fright time, right? So people were wearing their costumes randomly, not even around the time of Halloween, I guess, like, four days before or whatever. But I remember, like, walking around downtown, and there was this really, really obese woman that was dressed up as Raven from Teen Titans, which is crazy, by the way. But anyway, she wasn't wearing pants, and it was just kind of like a one-piece, if that makes any sense. It was like the Borat, like the, you know, it went up to his, like, shoulders or whatever. It was like one of those. And I could see her butthole, like, straight out. I could see her butthole. And then she had the audacity to sit there and try to pull it down. And, it, like, maybe you got, like, an extra centimeter of, what are you doing? Like, why are you even trying to, like, cover yourself up? You, th I'm seeing everything right now. Like, I'm literally, I can see the entire shape of your penis and your butthole. And you're over here trying to cover yourself up. At that point, like, it doesn't matter, right? Like, what are you even doing at that point? Like, <laughs> I can see everything. It's okay. It's whatever, dude. Thank God I'm an adult and I can see that and, like, have the ability to, like, look away and just, like, <gasps> oh, you know, like that's, you know, whatever. I've yeah. never seen orange rice before, but. Yeah, uh, that looks concerning. Definitely orange rice. But go ahead, Corey. Tell us about the orange rice. Mmm. That tastes smoky. I don't want my rice to taste smoky. I prefer if it tastes like rice. Rice test? Damn, the way she's holding that container is giving me... I'm, I'm just really concerned about the way she's holding that right now, dude. It's like slit. It's like she's tilting it. She's just tilting it off to the side like that. Like she's so nonchalant in the way she's holding it. And I do believe they're eating it on a couch that doesn't have a cover. So it's probably going to get. But then again, you know what, dude? I guess it really doesn't matter, dude. I'm actually looking at this back, this back row right here, dude. What is this? Like your sheen packages? Like what are you guys just not trying to put away your clothes or something like that? Whatever, you guys don't eat on a table. You don't you don't have like a table in front of you, dude. Nothing. I guess it's okay. Whatever, dude. Like I know some guys that eat out literally women's butt cheeks. Like, I guess it's not that big of a deal, dude. Mm -hmm. But that shouldn't be the metric at which we judge people's eating habits. Like, I'm sorry, okay? You know what? No, it's not okay to eat stuff on your couch like this. Can you take the stuff that you're eating and have a table in front of you? They're like $20 at the Chinese dollar store. Just walk in and hustle. They literally will change the price. You think that anybody's buying a table for $20? Dude, it's not even... It's basically cardboard. We all know that. Like, if you spill anything on it, it literally falls apart in two days. It, like, perpetually falls apart. So just go to the Chinese dollar store, talk to the dude behind the counter, and say, Hey, man, that black, like, doll, that black $20 table that you got back there... How much can we move on that a little bit? Like, what do you? How much can you sell this for? They'll argue with you. They'll 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 tell you that you're a bad person. What the what the hell? That I had to import that from China. It's a very it's a very good one. Uh, it's going to be twenty dollars. Don't try to come in here and hustle me, white man. You know that you have the money to afford that. It's not about that, dude. I'm not trying to spay. I'm not. I know that's not worth twenty dollars. I know you didn't import it from China. Uh, you probably literally made it in the back with paper mache and painted it black. I'll pay $10 for that. And he'll go, yeah, whatever, dude, $10. <laughs> That's actually, I literally just made that. You're right, actually. It is paper mache. Um, it didn't even take any money for me at all. I just, like, had the paper mache and I just spit on it for 45 minutes and eventually dried into the shape of a table. I actually didn't even know it was going to be a table. I thought it was going to be a chair. <laughs> and it came out as a table. But whatever, $10? That's literally 100% profit for me. Anyway. That's rice. I'm going to put the chicken kofta. You put it back? You put it back? in the naan bread with the tzatziki and have it wrapped. I just want to know, like, who's watching this, besides us, of course, because we're weird, uh, that's, like, actually keeping up with the lore. Like, do you guys remember that time that Corey's World got the naan bread and put that cat log inside the naan bread and then put the sauce on the naan bread? Yeah, that was crazy, right, guys? Man, that was, like, apex Corey's World right there. That was the best lore. Like, who's doing that? This is giving rap god. Mm. That's cringe, bro. It's, it actually looks bad. It looks really dry. It looks like you just took a bite of that and just... <laughs> it looks so dry. Too good. I would literally... Do you have any black friends? Tell them to come over with the cocoa butter and just... Right in there. Anyway, guys, we're going to dig into this. Cheers, Lee. Cheers. And we're going to watch some drifters. Yeah. Ignore the washing. Love you all. Imagine if we lived in a... I was not ignoring the washing, dude. ...world where hangovers don't exist. We had to part... Every time, dude, I see this dude, Corey's World, he's always struggling with that. Oh my god, I had another hangover. I think I drank too much last night because I can't feel my feet anymore. Anyway, guys, so in order to remedy the hangover, I had to get a McDonald's.
That's it, every time. Every time, Party bro. last night to celebrate Leah. These burgers don't look real to me. They look way too wide. And whenever they take a bite and they show me the burger, it always is like the smallest patty you've ever seen in your, in, in your life. And it always looks so dry. And I guess it's not that big of a deal if you don't really care about yourself because like why the fuck would you care about yourself you just spend the entire night literally abusing your liver and now you're about to abuse your stomach too at the you know like at that point you don't really care about yourself so like whatever you put in your body at that point it's like a whatever situation which can we be honest for a second if you're out here and you're just abusing your liver, you're abusing your stomach, you're abusing your intestines, you're abusing your brain because you're not really giving it the sustenance that it deserves and you're probably monstrously dehydrated consistently why not just be gay? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, what is the purpose anymore? Why do you like women if you're not even liking yourself, right? You're not. E you're literally not even treating yourself right. You might as well just be gay. Why not, dude? Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, hitting 100K on TikTok and things got Lionel Messi. Why does he sound like that? I just hit 100K on TikTok and now here we are. We're about to eat the Mackeys. Like, why does he sound like he smokes a lot? There's cheesy chips and confetti scattered on the floor and the house smells like a brewery and not a night. Jamie Dodgers. You guys have some weird stuff in the UK. This one biggest for By the way, we don't like okay. Here's the thing. Here in America, when we go into a corner store, I get that I get this is like, oh, this isn't Greg's, it's just a random corner store. We can go into corner stores and we could buy stuff, but nobody does that. Like if you see somebody going into the corner store, they're going in for two things: alcohol and scratch tickets. That's it. Okay? Like nobody's going like they do have food and they do have chips. But what kind of person am I going into a convenience store and buying $4 packs of like 25 cent chips? Nobody's doing that shit. So nobody here in America can, re can relate to this. Like when we go into establishments like this, we're just trying to get out because we're hearing that same reggaeton music. Every single shop, it's the same shit. Boom, ba -doo, ba boom, ba -doo, ba boom. Or some variation of that. The, 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 the Hispanic guy behind the counter is watching you like a hawk, but he's not going to come up behind the counter, by the way, glass covering everything because he's probably got robbed five times today. Uh, and you're just trying to get in and out as fast as humanly possible. There will be that odd time where you need to buy like Raid or you need to buy like a random seasoning powder. They do have some good seasoning powders. You will have to pay a premium on that. But if you need curry or you need Laurie seasoning salts, they do have those. But usually you're not going in there for food. And I don't even think they really sell food. So if you go in there and you buy like a fruit or something, they do have the fruits. But I always was, I think it's always the same fruit. And I always question like, how long has this been here for? Like nobody's buying stuff from these establishments. But if you're from the UK, can you please let me know? Is it different? Chips and confetti scattered on the floor. And the house smells like a brewery and not a nice one. Burgers for breakfast is essential on a hangover. It's true. Burgers for and breakfast visiting is, Martha yeah. Mubik. It's always dry. It's always so dry, dude. These don't look like you got a burger on on your two burgers on your plate and a burger on the floor. You're doing right, bro. You're doing Everything right. Everything better. The beer fear is crippling. And considering this is my, I feel like these people don't understand as well. What the fuck is this, bro? That looks diabolical. That looks rancid, bro. I feel like these people don't understand how many calories are actually. Why is your girlfriend so brown, dude? Get your girlfriend in check, bro. Jesus Christ, bro. I'm sick of seeing these people so incredibly tan for no other reason than just being tan. Get your shit together. So I see these people and they just don't seem to realize. I'm sorry, I gotta like look away for a second because I'm like that. Whatever, okay. Too many people in the UK don't seem to realize that. You do realize that you're drinking like a good couple hundred, if not a thousand plus calories from your alcohol, right? Like if you're drinking a lot of beer, if, if it, even if it's like light beer, you're racking up the calories. So not only you have a problem with the amount of calories you're eating, but you're probably drinking a ton of calories as well. As a, as a, like, and you're trying to remedy that with food. And it's like Third a never burger of the day. I morals. still feel so rough. I've said it before, but I'll. Say what is this? What are we doing here? Where did you find this? What is this growth you have in this bowl? Say it again. If you have any pictures or videos of me last night, delete them now. I've just spontaneously booked a cabin. Costco, Burger King, and Greg's. What what are we doing in the UK, bro? Three 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 restaurants in one? Is that what this is? Or like three sh stores in one? Burger King? Is okay. Here in America, nobody goes to Burger King. Nobody. Uh, can you let me know if you're from the UK? Why is Burger King so prolific? Been for the night and kidnap Leah and Charlie to come with me. I need to forget about everything that happened last night. I had to go to Greg's. And you know, it's always so crazy to me how things are sold out. This is crazy. This pizza looks absolutely fermented. This thing looks like it's it came with the...
this doesn't even look like pizza anymore. What this looks like is like when they built this establishment, this was already there. And they just decided to just pawn it off as pizza because the new management thought it was pizza. But actually what it is is just growth that was just there prior. Night, so we're actually fleeing our hometown when we're scarpering. Oh, you crazy as hell, bro. You grabbing a handful of that. That's crazy, bro. I need to be Dude, a chocolate starfish? Hold up. last night, so we're actually fleeing our hometown. Dude, a ch isn't a chocolate starfish a euthanism for buttholes? Am I wrong on that? I'm pretty sure that is, right? So if somebody was like, hey, bro, you want some chocolate starfish? I'd be like, yo, bro, I'm not gay. What are you doing right now, dude? I'm not, like, homosexual. Why are you trying to... Are you trying to seduce me right now, dude? Like, what are you talking about? He pulled out one of these, like, oh! Oh, not your butthole, bro. You're talking about this pastry thing. Oh, bro, you should have told me. How would we scarp her into... By the way, 155 for that is crazy. I need to be around animals. Oh, shit. It's, it's that a sheep? Why, why are they looking at you like that? Nature and some peace and quiet to gather my thoughts and have a chillax for the evening. I book the only... I knew a girl that she stared at, she stayed at Airbnb and she like slipped into a, uh, a hot tub. And then like, like a week later, she said she had a UTI because of it. Because I guess the dude that owned the, uh, the whole, the, the whole house or whatever, didn't, she never washed it or whatever. And she's kind of like, I don't know, dude. Man, it sucks being a woman, right? You get UTIs like all the time. It's like a passive ability for you. And some peace and quiet to gather my thoughts and have a chillax for the evening. I book the only place with a hot tub on Airbnb. It's called Black U. And this was the perfect Black U. You guys are appropriating that. You guys look so. <laughs> Y'all, there's just something. I... Are you guys using a filter? Why do you guys look so weird, bro? It doesn't look like your head's attached to your body at all. This looks so weird, bro. This looks uncanny. Okay, I don't know, bro. Whatever. In fact, hangover cure. We chilled out for hours in the hot tub. We built a campfire. I, I don't know what it is, but like, I could never bring myself to just randomly drive to an establishment and just get an Airbnb. Why? Like, I know people that go, yo, bro, we bought to party, dog. It's going to be crazy, me. Yo, pull up to the hotel, pull up to the Airbnb. And I'm like, dude, you live literally like three miles away from the Airbnb. Why did you buy an Airbnb? How much are you paying for this? Why are you buying this, dude? Like, couldn't you just do this at your house? Like, why do you, why do so many people want to, like, live somewhere for, like, one day? Why? What are you talking, just live in your house? How much are you paying in rent? Like, $4,000, dude? I live in a big city. Some people I know are literally paying, like, three or $4,000 in rent. And you're out here going, I'm going to go and get an Airbnb? If I'm paying that much money in rent, I'm living in my house 24-7. I'm not going outside, okay? Some of these people want to just spend money. Why do you even want to go to another place? Like, what do you want to do there, bro? It's so weird, man. Didn't have no marshmallows with that. Damn, bro. You kind of going crazy as hell, bro. God damn. Two boxes of pizza and burger bites? <laughs> You're going crazy, Corey. You need to calm down. Uh, so we made up for it by ordering a massive takeaway. We got two Maggie pizzas. But you just had a massive takeaway like a day ago, bro. Why do you need so many massive takeaways? I got cheesy beans and chips and a nacho cheese that chicken. That looks gross. Yo, never in your life. Never in your life you gonna come over where I live, bro. You're crazy as hell. You did not put fries, beans, and cheese together. Yo. Suck me off, bro. That is gross, bro. That is absolutely rancid. That cheese is already decrusted as well. That shit is gross, dude. You don't feel nasty about this? Woo! Yo, somebody gotta let me know, dude. There's no way this is good, right? French fries, beans, and then coat that with cheese? Yeah, I'm I'm all right, bro. I'm literally good. I would literally dip my tongue in a uh, a fucking glory hole then I would eat this shit. I, what are we doing with our lives, bro? This is absolutely diabolical. Rap. Although it would have been nice to have a glass of wine or two, the thought of alcohol makes me want to gag. So if you're watching this now, severely hungover, try and remember. Bro, why do they close their eyes when they're eating this fucking slop? You're literally just eating like various flavors of brown. It can't be that good, right? You guys are so depressed in the face. Everything will be okay. And if not, just run away for the night. Love Dude, you. who's doing this, bro? You guys just bought a random... The only thing worse than a hangover is a Jesus Christ the day after, bro. Eating the pizza that was just left outside. What a beautiful thing. 
Like, yeah, there was some birds on it. A couple mice was munching on my shit, but fuck it, right? Two day hangover. Here, take this, take this slice of crustated pizza that we left outside. In the cabin. And you know, the vape too, bro. You gotta have the vape. The you gotta have the vape. The only thing hey, bro, nothing wrong with vaping. Go ahead, vape. I mean, it's just one thing to extra carry on with your life, right, dude? I mean, you've got one addiction. You might as well have three or four. This and a hangover is a two day hangover. Just more of an People. excuse later on, right, dude? I think the modern vapes look so not cool anymore, dude. I remember back in the day when you had the jewels. Man, them things was nice, dude. They were cool. They were efficient. They were USB chargeable. I guess they're still USB chargeable, but you could just snap them onto the thing. I used to love vapes. I never, like, vaped. Uh, I never had my own vape. I would just hitch off of other people's vapes and never men. I would never do it off men because I'm not gay. I would only do it off women, which technically I guess it's not. It's kind of the same thing because, like, most of these women would, like, not brush their teeth and they would also indulge in the male genitalia. So I guess I'm inadvertently sucking dick, I guess. I don't know. But... I think the modern vapes don't look as cool as they used to. I think that, and by the way, they're drinking alcohol too, by the way. They just like woke up and there's alcohol. And by the way, this is the day after where they said they weren't going to drink anymore. And then I'm literally seeing alcohol right here. So like you were hung over from the night before. You got fast food to remedy that throughout the entire day. Pulled up to an Airbnb, got more fast food and drank. So you could wake up the next day to wake up at the Airbnb and do it again. What a life, bro. I mean, these guys is, you know, what a beautiful life. Woke up in the cabin that we scarped to last. Black camping. Wait, what? Glamping? Glamping. Black glamping. It's night. It is time to put on a break fake. Dude, they look so depressed, man. I'm sure they're having fun, but I think their lives are default depressed. Like, these guys have zero. They, these people have zero joy in their face consistently dude i don't know if it's just like that in the uk but like this dude looks depressed and everybody else around him too even when they smile it just kind of looks like their their life sucks make our way home the leftover pizza for breakfast didn't touch the sides so we've stopped for breakfast number two and damn, I went bro. For a beer. breakfast number two is insane bro you damn bro you guys are always doing some crazy shit do you guys not like register the words that are you saying like breakfast number two King. I got a large double whopper meal. This has made me feel slightly more human. The chips were proper fluffy and the burger was so Damn, sad. That's crazy as hell to say. This made me feel more human, dude. What are you? Excellent. Charlie and Leah went for a subway, but after being surrounded by. What? D so you pulled up to the BK and it was like, nah, we're going to go to, we're going to go to subway. You're going to multiple different fast food genres, dude, together. You guys are fat as fuck. Fuck, bro, that is some really big back shit if you're going to multiple different fast food places at the same time. That's crazy as hell. All the cows on the farm last night. God damn. Just depression, dude. Just fucking depression, dude. You guys can't like your lives, bro. I just needed a good beef burger. But I Why do you close your eyes when you eat? It's not even that good, bro. It's literally just Neapolitan flavored food. You had to get a chocolate cookie from Subway. They're unmatched. Actually, I think I prefer Costco cookies. You pulled... You went to the... Hold up, bro. Let me hold on, bro. I got to make sure. So hold up, bro. So you're telling me you had the crustated pizza from the night before. You went to BK and got a Burger King meal. And then because the girlies went to went to Subway, but when you guys, when you were eating your BK, you was like, I'm going to need to probably pull up. I'm going to need to spend a block on the, on the Subway real quick because I'm feeling about that Subway right now. By the way, does anybody really even eat at Subway anymore? Subway was like, okay. 2016 i feel like 2016 and below but nobody really ever go maybe it's just i'm just in america right i don't i have a whole bunch of friends and i got really if i'm being honest i got really neapolitan friends like like their food choices um so a lot of black guys a lot of dudes like ethnically ambiguous dudes like you would look at them and be like i don't know what the fuck you are you could be from like eight or nine different countries simultaneously none of these dudes have ever even eaten at subway dude uh, and I, I just don't understand the cultural identification with just eating at these places like this. It looks like a fine restaurant, but any subway I've ever went to had at least three shootings occurring when I walked in. But these are second best. This hangover is causing me physical pain. And the <laughs> this should just this should just sum up Corey's world entire life right here, dude. The crying, the tear coming off the side of his eye, dude, as he indulges in a cookie that he just got from Subway, dude. What a beautiful man right here, dude. What a beautiful life. The only thing that's making me feel better is watching Charlie Jenny living her best life on her solo cruise. They you, gotta, you gotta have perpetual ass. Like, your, your life has gotta feel terrible, right? Am I wrong? I feel like you would just feel like ass consistently. Like, what are you even doing with your life? You're literally just, I don't know, like, you're just teleporting from fast food place to fast food place. And then maybe sometimes you spend time at your house eating fast food. It's just so comforting. I've just woken up from an afternoon nap. And I actually dreamt about fish and chips while I was asleep. Yo, yo, bro. <gasps> oh my 
God. What are you doing, bro? You just don't... Do you have a kitchen? Do you have an oven? Do you have, like, a place you can cook food? Why are you pulling up at these fast food places like this, bro? Good lord. So I've just ordered a master fryer. I went for large fish and chips with a big pot of gravy. It seems like he's only really happy. Yo, you guys got the darkest gravy I've ever seen in my life. This gravy looks like the shit that dinosaurs were slipping in, and then they would die, and then we'd find their bodies, like, two million years later. Like, tar pits? This looks like tar pits, bro. And what is this thing? This looks like the inside of, like, a rock. You ever see those, like, big, like, uh, like, those geo nodes or whatever, where they have, like, the purple or green or brown rocks? Like, you know what I'm talking about? That's what it looks like. It looks like the inside of a rock. Ah, and a minced beef and an eon pie. Ugh. After my takeaway, Arthur popped over to see us. She played with Baby Bell and cheered us right up. The house is an absolute tip, but I can barely lift my head off the pillow today, so I'll have to sort it out tomorrow. Anyway, love you all. Though I've had four takeaways today, you've still been a lot healthier and more active than you. I don't even... Can you imagine saying, like, I had four takeaways and it's pretty healthy today? What do you... Damn, bro. If that's healthy for you... Whew, damn. And again, I got to keep it a buck. Someone got to let me know. Who is just buying random sandwiches from random establishments like this? I mean, I guess it's Greg's or whatever. But I don't know what the cultural significance of Greg's is, bro. Is it just like a corner store? Or is it like a mainstream corner store? We don't have that here. Usual. I woke up at 8 a.m. this morning to go for breakfast with my mother. Yo, your dad be looking good, bro. I'm not going to lie, dude. The dad looks... Really good. Looks really good. Really good looking old man. And stepdad. Not old man, but you know what I'm saying. We went to Greg's. It was dying for a corned beef pasty. But I went for the healthier option and got a baguette instead. True. I drove home at 10 to pick the girls up because we're off to Bristol today. They wanted to stop for breakfast. So I had breakfast number two, another Greg's. This was the second time today I've rejected. Those coffees, dude. Them things is going to be killing your diet. Well, you know, what am I talking about? Their diet's already busted. Did a corned beef pasty for my heart and soul. I went for this Mexican so chicken pit. I just love the way they add extra syllables in that soul. Right? What is soul? One word? I'm sorry, one syllable? Soul. So old. Is it so old? I don't think it's so old. I don't think it's that. I think it's just soul. These people got me questioning that shit always, bro. Whenever they mispronounce stuff. Like, you guys made the language. Can you guys at least articulate it correctly? Bread, and I even kept the salad in it. We've just arrived at Bristol. Come to Tartan Titan. It's the yeah, you got me really fucked up if you think I'm about to go on a... You guys gotta have some crazy health care if you are out there in the UK bouncing on a bouncy house. And there is literal brown sludge water. And you're bouncing on that shit willingly. I, I mean, you might as well just like, if once it rains, okay? You know when the water just starts accruing next to the sidewalk? Can you just like jump in that? I mean, you might as well, right? Just dip your mouth in that. Just like get a big straw and just suck on the mouth. Just just really indulge in that gutter water. Because that, this is basically what that is. You guys are being disgusting right now. This is actually diabolical. Bread, and I even kept the salad in. You guys got some different shit going on, bro. I can't even believe I just saw that. Yeah. We've just arrived at Bristol. Come to Tartan Titan. It's the world's longest inflatable assault course. And yeah, I you know why it's the world... Okay, bro. Like, yo, you guys got to calm the fuck down. You really out here wearing socks wearing that shit? You got me fucked all the way up, bro. You got... Are there showers after this at least? I'm going to really need to cleanse myself off. You you basically, and you basically get, you're going to have trench foot once you walk out of this, right? Like your foot is going to have to be physically removed from your body. I tell you my body hurts. I'm in physical pain. This yeah, was because your body is already being fueled by garbage. And then you have to do this too. Workout and a half. It feels like I've just done Tour de France. After our workout, we're all a bit shaky. So we need some chocolate. Oh, we had man. a Fido each. God so damn, Mackey's. bro. I'm so hungry right now. I could collapse on the floor. I want to order at least three meals. God, bro, it's just dry as hell. Yo, bro, they really had your sandwich leaking like that? Bro, his shit was slumped. I'm into Mackey D's. I'm so hungry right now. I could collapse on Yo, the what is that? Bro, that's like a four patty burger, dude. Yo, tell this girl right here. What's her name? Charlie? She got to really chill all the way back. This shit's crazy as hell, bro. You get out what you put in, right? Your body is literally busted if you're eating this shit on a daily basis, dude. God damn, bro. And by the way, can, can we just stop doing this really quickly? I get it. Maybe you don't have pockets or maybe you think that like people aren't going to rob you, but you having your phone out, out like in the restaurant, what the fuck are you doing? You know how many women I've dated that go, oh, we're about to eat. Let me just put my phone 
right on the table. I'm just like, bro, put that shit in your pocket. Oh, not pockets. I'll put it in my pocket. What? Who is leaving their phone out? That's crazy, bro. You know how many times I've seen people literally get robbed like that? I get it. Maybe it's different in the UK. You guys have to worry about, like, drawing pictures of Mohammed or, like, <laughs> knife crimes or whatever. But, like, here in America, dude... There are dudes that will literally just see your phone, walk up, grab, and, and run, dude. We literally just had a story, like, two weeks ago. There was a guy in a uh, in a parking lot, okay, at a, a, at, a, at a gas station that just randomly walked up to a woman, and he just busted a nut right on a woman's leg and ran. Think about that for a second, okay? There are dudes in our country right now that are doing drive-by busting on women's legs, and she cried, by the way, which is valid. And you think that your phone isn't going to get robbed? Dude, protect your phone, okay? How much are you spending on your phone, bro? I, maybe, every, maybe maybe you guys have, like, phone plans or something like that where you're spending, like, $80 a month on your shit. I spent too much money up front on my phone. I don't do phone plans, dude. I'm not trying to be in debt. I don't like that shit. I don't like having mo- I don't like to have a owe money, okay? Maybe you're different. I'm not that person. I'm not trying to just lose over $1,000 worth of phone. I'm not trying to do that shit. And, all, and like I have dick pics and stuff like that on my phone. So if you find out that my dick is big, you might come back and try to suckle on my shit. So I don't want to have any of that occur. So please, if you are gonna, if you don't have the room for it in your pocket or whatever, dude, take this phone and put it right here. That is the solution. Okay? Just take it and put it right there. That's all I'm going to ask for you. That's it. That's all I want. And by the way, also... Good lord woman, a four patty burger, get your shit together. Floor. I want to order at least three. And his shit is slumped all the way over, bro. It really looked like that McDonald's employee just straight up koofy the side of your burger, bro. That's insane, dude. Me old slave decided to be good. Damn, a four piece nugget, too. I didn't even know they made four pieces. Good. And got just one large meal and some nuggets on the side. French fries like that, dude. Who eats it in the middle? That's so weird. To, to take the french fries in the middle and eat it like that? That's weird. I went for the double Big Mac and it was 10 out of 10. I've never a felt- A double Big Mac? So that means you had what, four patties? <sighs> More worthy of a treat before in my life, but we worked up a sweat today. You, you real deal just be eating- What do you mean like, oh yeah, we felt worthy of this? You literally just ate this yesterday, so like- Bro, yo, you too? You too? That's crazy, bro. That's insane, dude. You really just gonna have your phone out like that, Stopped right. in the shop to get some pop, and look what I've just seen. Gross. A Rolo Frio. Although I'm trying to be good, I couldn't say no. Like, we've ordered kebab for tea. Yo, yo, bro. You guys are on some different Bank shit. holiday. Tonight, I've got chippy tea. I'm severely hungover, and there was one thing I wanted. Somebody I woke- somebody needs to intervene in Corey's World Live, dude. Every fucking video is, I'm severely hungover. Oh, my God. I've drunk so much last night. Cut for my afternoon nap. Bro, you got a lot of free time, bro. What are you talking? Afternoon nap? I, the only time I ever nap is when my headaches are really, really bad. And I don't get a lot of headaches. I get maybe a headache every two months. And then I know I'm a bitch that day because I'm like, oh, fuck, bro. Like, I'm just feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Like, I just need to let rest my head on the pillow. While I'm doing it, too, I feel like a pussy because I'm like, dude, I'm such a bitch, bro. Like, I can't believe that I'm letting my body do something that I don't want it to do. But you got to do it every once in a while. And sometimes you need that nap to, you know, bridge you over. But this guy just be living life, like, conveniently. So I've got pie. Yeah. Pie. UK thing. A Dr. Pepper. Okay. Oh. Gravy. Gravy. And the big dad. Gravy. Gravy. I guess. The fish and chips. Yeah, you really love this shit, bro. This is my second time seeing this guy eating this shit. And them fishes be long and big. I have been on a health kick recently. <laughs> Yo, shut the fuck up, bro. Don't ever talk to me ever again in your entire life, bro. Don't ever tell me you're on a health kick. Uh, It's actually disrespectful to hear you say that shit. You think this is a health kick? You're on some different shit. I've almost lost a stone. Okay. Okay. But I just thought I need to... Let me just destroy all the progress, dude. That shit is leaking. That shit is leaking. Treat myself. Yeah. So this is my... Just gain it back, right? Let's just gain back that... Damn, that shit is fucking greased up, bro. And they put the packets on the side. Yeah, you might, you know, you lost a stone. I don't know how much that is. What is that, like seven pounds or something like that? You lost a stone. Let's just gain it back. Like, fuck it, dude. We did all that work. Let's just throw it down the drain. I got large. Is this a pie? Let me see the pie. This is the beef. You, how much you spend on that? I'm going to need to know the price of that, dude. Anything more than $2, that shit is crazy. Pie. If I could. <laughs> I just love the toss. 
show you the floor now. There's cheesy chips on the floor over there and there's all confetti. We had a party to celebrate Leah hitting 100k and we ended up in Coco's. Very random. Mm. <laughs> I thought for a long time Corey's world was gay. I genuinely thought he was homosexual, but then people were like, no, no, David, he's not gay. He has a woman, dude. You know that. And then I was like, who? And then I saw the woman and I was like, oh, that girl. I thought they were just like gay best friends or whatever, dude. I saw a lot of dudes. I just kind of think a lot of like British dudes are gay. I don't know. Like, I just kind of think like that. That is too good. What are you all having for tea tonight? That gravy looks diabolical, bro. Why is it so thick, dude? Oh, God. The lid is my favorite part. Cheers, guys. Stop saying cheers, bro. Mmm. And look at that gravy. Mm. Yo, shut up. You just ate it. You literally just ate it. You don't have to mmm at the end of every single bite, bro. Cheers. I'll give him that. That 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 snap was pretty good. I actually have so much to do today, and <laughs> I haven't done anything. Yesterday when I woke up, I had the worst beer fear ever. Um, and I needed just to get away, so I booked me, Leah, and Charlie a cabin. So last night we stayed in a log cabin. We had a lush night. There was a hot tub there. Okay. What is the purpose of what is the purpose of taking the food with your hands and then like peeling it off, right? The original piece and then taking that piece and then putting it on the fork. What is that? What do we why not you just go like this? Do that instead instead of taking it putting it on he literally took the food he didn't fork it he forked and then put the food on his hand and then put it on the fork i've never seen somebody do that why couldn't you just if you were going to peel it off it would be better if you just left it there and then forked it but you picked it up and you put it on the fork watch we had a last night there was a hot tub there look at this shit what is that i probably would have posted a vlog by the time you see this that's just falling apart too bro of our night if you want to check it out what are you doing like fish taste test Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, it's not good. <laughs> Never mind, it's not good. That shit is not good, bro. That's that's too much of a pause. That's way too much of a pause. Mm. No. Stop I can it. just take the mint speed. Stop like, doing it. Yeah, there you go, right there. Eliminate the fork completely. Damn, bro. Mm. What is the purpose, dude? Why do you even have the fork? Just the, just you, you remember that bag from earlier that you just tossed? Just do that with the fork, bro. There's no part. There's no purpose, dude. Just drink. You don't have. You don't need that. You don't need the Dr Pepper either, dude. Just drink the great the grave. What are you doing? That's four fishy. What? Leah and Charlie are going to see McFly and Becky Hill this week. What is that? I'm not. What the hell is that? You can't just say words and think that we know what that is. What is that? I'm really into concerts though, and I hate being in big crowds, so. I'm going to take them and pick them up so they can have a drink and have fun. And I was thinking I might take myself to the cinema. Okay. If you fancy coming with me. Maybe we could even go out for food. What do you mean we? Does he mean we as in like he's multiple people? Like what are we talking about? It's really rainy today. Cool, bro. <laughs> so it's the perfect day just to stay in bed. Bro, you, didn't you just tell me you have so much to do today? How are you going to sit here and tell me like, yeah, oh my god, I have so much to do today. I'm so busy, so I'm just going to stay in all day and do nothing. Just completely ignore all responsibilities because I got too drunk last night. So I need this moment in my life to eat this fishy and chippy. And you know, it's proper chippies too. It's chippy chips. Got I'm going to put something on Netflix now. I have no idea what to watch. I love, like, a good series. Why do you make everything so much longer than it needs to be series, bro? Not series. Why not just say series? Just... You guys have such a weird way of, like, articulating this language. Like, your dialogue choices are so weird. Like, a thriller series. Do you know what I mean? No. So, if you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments below. I'm going to finish this and I'll catch up with you later, all right? Man, they never fill up these bags, bro. It's always serious as hell when you open a bag and it's like, what is that, like, 
55% of the bag filled up, bro, you could easily put in an extra 20% at the bare minimum. Am I wrong, dude? These companies getting away with literal robbery. Okay, bro. Okay, okay. Okay. <gasps> Is that M&M's in the food? Is that what that is? Like little M&M pieces? Okay, bro. Come on. Okay, bro. Is this like is this is this is his attempt at ASMR? He's watched Jelly Bean Sweets and now he needs to emulate it cuz he sells he sees how popular she's getting. Listen, bro. You don't got it. Okay, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. I know you want to emulate it. We all do things that we see other people do. You're not, you're not that guy. Okay, you don't have the physique for it. You don't have the vaginal, right? That's one of the main reasons that a lot of people watch her. You don't got that. Most people that are watching you go, this guy's a dude, right? This guy's a penis. So like, most people are not gonna like like you for that reason, right? You don't have the male genre. You understand? There's a lot of, there's a lot of guys out there that like watching women eat lots of food for the intention of beating off but not a lot of guys like watching a lot of guys eat food i feel like that's i think you have to be gay right like it's not like if you were a straight man you can't justify watching another man eat and then beat off to that right that's just gay right right i mean it's not technically gay but it's also gay is it gay i don't know let me know it sounds like you took a bite of the spoon i don't like it i don't like it we have to stop i don't like it dude i don't want to watch this anymore i don't like that i don't like the mouth noises i can't do it anymore dude but it's a good face so we'll give him that it's a nice but anyway guys we're gonna end the video here i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did i'd appreciate everybody to leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things i'd appreciate tremendously i love you so so incredibly much if you guys have watched this video in its entirety and or you're here right now leave it down below by typing in kangaroo because guess what they're beautiful creatures they like to fight and they run in packs they say things to you and they fight and it's it's basically a gang i don't know why they fight people just randomly dude they're really hostile creatures bro i think that we need to do something about that but anyway uh write it down below kangaroo or if there's a kangaroo emoji you can put that down there too i appreciate any of those things um i have to let you know that your teeth are looking quite beautiful recently very sparkly very majestic very awesome and a uh, beautiful in many many ways that i can't even describe thank you you're beautiful you're so amazing you're so fantastic thank you for brushing your teeth today it's actually great but anyway guys if you want to check out my social media it'll be linked down below in the description enjoy the rest of your day guys peace